if a man is not prized or validated growing up, they have an unconscious fear that he is simply not lovable. I was so loved, I made myself think I wasn't loved. Wow, you're the Houdini of love. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And that's what all of his relationships, that... poof, he was gone. Yeah. <laughs> You're listening to the Dear Buddies podcast. You will grow from boys into men. Whatever, dude. What does that look? Don't get weird on me. Hey, buddy. For all those questions you can't bring yourself to ask your friends, ask your buddies. <laughs> Uh, welcome to the Dear Buddies podcast. Thank you so much for joining us back here. Uh, we just hit a thousand subscribers, which we're very Woo! excited about as of last episode on YouTube. So please continue to subscribe. Nice. Thank you for doing that. We're now able to make money on YouTube. Very exciting. What? Um, hit yeah. us up on Spotify, iTunes, all that stuff, Instagram, Dear Buddies podcast, and all the things. Uh, but with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump into this next episode. I'm very excited to have this uh, particular guest on. Because we are uh, we were being graced with uh, uh, entertainment royalty <laughs> yeah. uh, in the studio. We're not worthy. <laughs> we're not worthy. Uh, Bow before me. <laughs> she has a one of the best podcasts out there. Honestly, not only is one of the greatest podcasts, one of the best produced podcasts I would say this out there. True. Yeah, uh, this, uh, this, this particularly <laughs> is true. Uh, called Immigrant Jam. She has a show in New York called Immigrant Jam. Uh, she also voices. Uh, a character called Mercy on one of the biggest video games that ever existed called Overwatch. Lucy Pohl, everybody. Fuck yeah. Hello. Huh? What a time, Hello. everybody. Hello. Very ha and, and from Germany. Hamburg, and right? From Hamburg. From Hamburg, that's right. How do you say yeah. it in German? Hamburg? Hamburg. Hamburg. I went to Munchen once. No, you didn't. That's not a place. <laughs> yes, it is. It's called Munich. She got it. <laughs> Thank you. Munchen. Munchen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so I said Munchen. it, okay? Munchen. I am German. <laughs> Sam, get the hell out of here. Yeah, that's the right attitude, definitely. <laughs> I am German. Uh, do you think your German, like, uh, linguistics, no, no um, helped you with your, uh, with your voiceover career, you think? Yeah, for sure. Yep. Uh, Mercy is Swiss. Whoa. She has a German accent. What, does she that get sick when great... she sees the Jewish producers? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying, what? like, she's speaking diff She had to speak in, in German and then in English, and, you know, mm -hmm. she just has a... Whoa, whoa. It definitely helped. Definitely helped. Definitely We're probably learning two languages. Initially, like, just having German-English. Yeah. You're very focused on having a voice, you know, or, like, speaking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it helps to have a voice to speak these languages. <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I just learned this, though. English is German base. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, Germanic. I didn't know that. I thought we were more Latin based. Really? I from where I'm did you not, get that from? I'm, I'm an idiot, as <laughs> you will learn in the next hour. <laughs> I am a moron, as is. You're a good kid. <laughs> but how, many, <laughs> how many languages do you speak? <laughs> no, I know. I guarantee it's more than two. I guarantee. I guarantee it. <laughs> said it you were like already no, like because i know about he's this mad. Off about these, the yeah. answer yeah these european people they speak like seven <laughs> languages but the way you asked that you did ask you go how many languages you speak oh i'm sorry i speak with my uh new york accent and everyone gets offended by it why don't you get in my city oh yeah <laughs> that's not an accent that's a volume new york? queens <laughs> 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 but, I, I, nice. but yeah, no. What, is it? Is it true? Is it is more than one? Is it more than two? Oh, I was like, is what true? What <laughs> is he born in Queens? Yeah, yeah, that's the Queens. part. Um, I kind of speak Greek. Greek. Uh, not like perfectly, but I speak it pretty well. And then I speak a little Italian. Huh? Italians. Uh. This guy was Spanish. just in Italy. Yeah, but I but I'm not I don't speak it well. And a little Romanian. My mom's Romanian. Romanian. That's five languages. Was I right or was I right? You were, yeah. Okay, yeah. you nailed it, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Um Romanian, wow. But that's Latin based as well. Romanian is, yeah. yeah, yeah. Romance language. Makes sense. Yeah, it does. Is that so, the word romance comes from? Romaine? Romania? Romania? Yes. We invented <laughs> romance and drinking blood. What is your accent in Overwatch? What's My your... accent in Overwatch is, is German. She's Swiss. The character is Swiss. Oh. So they speak German in Switzerland, in parts of Switzerland. Are you allowed to do the voice like for for people? Yeah, I can do the voice. Because isn't there a thing sometimes where like like the Bart Simpson lady can't just go like on TV and do Bart Simpson because it's like copyrighted or something no, like that? No, I think she can't say things that aren't script. Like we're technically not supposed to say things in the voice that aren't scripted. Oh. So you have to... Uh, you have to... The voice. Right, so right, right. just be like... You can just Michael riff. Is the best you can't and improv. This podcast is the yeah. 
Oh, we'd like if you did that. <laughs> yeah. We're going to clip that out. Right? <laughs> By the way. But we brought um, you in today uh, to, do you, that. to do just voice stuff. Okay. We just want to talk about voiceover. Go, and uh, who's your agent? <laughs> Get us an agent. <laughs> but we So we always ask our guests every time when they come in here because this podcast is just about, you know, we're three idiots trying to figure out how to be better guys. People. Yeah people uh and guys don't talk about vulnerability and emotions <laughs> this is where he gets really nervous <laughs> just the thought of being emotional and vulnerable makes him oh a little yeah, bit yeah. he'll start chewing that can by the half hour mark <laughs> <laughs> he thinks he's the goat but he's actually a goat <laughs> he just eats cans it wasn't funny you gave it but you gave it a laugh i was laughing at your face um i was laughing but at we asked our guests and you had came back with the idea of um being um Fear of commitment was kind yeah. of like the, the the gist of what you were talking about. Yeah. But also, not only do guys have a fear of commitment, but guys have, don't understand sometimes that women have a fear of commitment. Yeah. And um, so, all, as to start off, why why is that subject important to you? And also, we haven't covered that yet, which is kind of surprising. We might be scared to uh, to commit to that theme. <laughs> God, I, I'm. I'm I want to get out, I want to get out of here too. <laughs> no, but what is it about? Com- got a lot to um, well, no, I think that men just always assume that women, uh, you know, know that they want a family and that they want to get married and that they're and and men always are or a lot of times are scared that they're like being you know trapped or like women want to like lock them down into a relationship. Mm-hmm. And I think that even though we might you know, say or think that we want that, we have the same fears that you guys have of commitment and of, you know, starting a family or getting married, you know what I mean? Or moving in together, for example. Right. Um, I was definitely scared of that. Yeah, it's all scary. I think that women maybe just, I don't know, this is not like a fully fledged thought sure. that I've thought so about. So these are all just, we're, these are just feelings. But I think maybe women are more accustomed to feeling different uh, like a multitude of things at once you know what i mean mm-hmm. than men are and can deal with that in a better way than I, <laughs> so, yeah. I, so, I sort of agree though i felt all of us slowly like fit moving forward like oh what i, I agree i, I agree know? i agree i agree I, I definitely for sure so I, i'm that way for sure so you're saying guy and i yeah that you guys kind of seem to be singularly focused when something happens versus like i think women are more capable of uh, Taking on multitasking emotions. Maybe. M- I, I, I don't want to just emotions. Simpli- oh, everything. Like, I don't want to simplify men. Like, you know, men are complex too. But I think that women just inherently, you know, like have to deal with a multitude of emotions at any given moment. And men don't as much. You think a lot of that, you think some of that's biological? Probably, yeah. Probably. Probably. Yeah. yeah. Did, were you ever like, Growing up as a woman, were you told to act like you ha- were you taught certain things about being a woman? Like you have to be the pro- you have to be the emotional support. You have to be the. Were you given any of those classic like female no up upbringing no. lessons? No, I had nothing classical in my upbringing at no. all. <laughs> no, not at all. But I think that um, for me, I realized it like I I was in a lot of like long distance relationships and stuff. And I was always like, oh, yeah, he's, you know, you know me. I always go for the ones that are afraid of Those commitment. Are good, though. Those are good. But yeah. I was like, I said to a friend, I was like, oh, yeah, I always go for the guys with commitment issues. And he was like, maybe you. You have the commitment issue, yeah. and I was like, "What the fuck? <laughs> fuck you!" Yeah, you have a type. Like, it turns out you have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I was like, "Oh shit! Oh yeah!" And then I started thinking about it more, and like, you know, we were just talking about moving in with my boyfriend right now, and he was super scared, but I was really scared too. I was just a little bit better at being like, "Yeah, that's life, though. You do things." Despite being scared, you had you know? he had never lived with anybody before another, another uh, you know, a significant other before, but you had yes, okay. And how long? So many so you're people. For, you're over one. <laughs> oh God, what? You're over one, or over one. Oh, she said so many people. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. no, yeah, like uh, yeah, he's never lived with anybody, and I've lived with people. That's how what's going on in my relationship. Let's talk about commitment. I've this is my first my relationship now. I'm. 38. I've, this is the first time I've ever lived with a significant other. Well, I'm 22 and I've had like <laughs> nine relationships. <laughs> um, I, well, I was married. Wow. I was wow. married. Now we're into it. It's commitment. <laughs> That's commitment. 
but only for like a it hot is. minute. Good job, buddy. <laughs> and and also we got married when we were already breaking up. But I was with that guy for twelve years, and we lived together for Wait, eight you, years. Yeah, hold on, let's hold back on. up. Let's back How up. How do for you a second. get married while you're breaking up? That's a fear of decommitment. <laughs> uh, that, that <laughs> no, I think that is a fear of commitment too, because that was interesting too. Because I really wanted to get married, and then as soon as it got into the like planning it and stuff, I was like, oh, I don't know if I want this at all. Not him, but like the process of getting married and like booking a venue and inviting yeah, people yeah, the and whole stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, the whole shaboosh or whatever the yeah, hell. Yeah, exactly, it. the whole shaboosh. I made up a word. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he speaks. Yeah. Well, he's so embar- he's so embarrassed right now. He's How's like, my I wish Romanian. I, I wish I knew other languages. Pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> so you, yeah. so the marriage part wasn't the thing that was scaring you. It was the pomp and circumstance around marriage I don't or do you know. think that that, that, that signified blew, marriage to you i don't know maybe the marriage part did scare me in retrospect because i blew it all up the relationship Ooh. and it was my fault that it ended so you much. ended I the mean, marriage. my fault it's always both people's faults in a way but can yes. you talk do you have you talked about why yeah i wrote a whole show about it oh yeah what, no, what I was cheated it? on him, yeah. Uh-huh. No, that's uh-huh. bad. It's bad. It's bad. I would never do it again, people. Okay, you live, you learn, but yes. Do you think it was intentional? But I, I don't know him. any of the, we don't know any of the history of it, so is there, do you think you intentionally did it to or end the marriage? Yeah, I think that's intentional. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, I'm pretty sure when she's kissing the other guy, she's like, I'm, this is intentionally me doing this, so. <laughs> no, but I mean, do you think like emotionally you thought like, I don't want to be in this marriage, so I'm just going to do what. We got married w- after that happened. Whoa. But he knew? Yeah, I told so him. So we had issues. Yeah. Well, she yeah, of course. Too. I said, you know, it, it's, it always takes two if you break up. You know, it No, no, no. That, I mean, two. to be like, oh, she cheated on me, but I still want to get married to you. We kind of had to get married for papers, too. There it is. Mm-hmm. Um, there go, but man. I think we also thought that it would save. Right. You know, the relationship. Yeah. So um, I, I almost got married, and I thought the thing was going to save our, my relationship because I hated this person. Um, <laughs> oh, no. But I think I also hate, I more hated me, and she just kind of was the representation of who I was. Uh-huh. It doesn't matter. But I th- <laughs> we started registering at places, and I was like, this is going to save the marriage, appliances. I was like, if I get a good blender, I think things will be fine. Really? Genuinely thought that that was going to save the Because I was scared to to not Did be committed. Did you get the blender ever? No. Now I, okay. This man's fully in love now. He go to his house. No Dullest blenders. knives ever. Zero yeah. blenders. Uh, forks are crooked. You're like, holy fuck. When I my soulmate, when an uh, aunt of mine found out I got engaged, she sent me, she sent us a set of dishes, like the yeah. fancy plates. And I was like, I don't even, we didn't even pick plates. She just went and got me plates. I was like, well, okay. See, I guess. that would make me run. Too. And I, well, I think almost I, almost I right there. <laughs> fell in love. I honestly thought, I honestly thought that was gonna be. I was like, this, I can't do this. I can't okay, have plates. Okay, but that's someone that you hate. You just said, and that makes sense why you wouldn't commit to, with with someone. But I was, I sometimes I'm scared of commitment, and I'm in love with the person mm. I'm with, and I have no idea why. I I don't know if it's just outside factors because you see everybody and everyone else talks about it and it's confusing a bit. Well, but I think that it's normal to be scared because it is like a loss of a part of you, right? Like Correct. you're giving up a part of you and that's always scary. That's that what part. I feel like. I feel like it's over. A chapter's closed. It's over. Like if I, if I settle down, I'm like, oh, the fun's gone. The fun is done. But see, what you're not yeah. considering is that maybe the thing on the other side is better than the thing before. You I've know what I mean? the other side. <laughs> <laughs> see the other side. I'm with you, though. There. I got my buddies texting me, what are you doing? You're out on a Tuesday? This is crazy. That's, <laughs> that's the other side. Yeah, but you do, but... But you see your friends with kids and stuff, and they're having a blast, like I with mean, their kids. I see it. I see my friends like sit, put, sending the videos is of also like. Also, like, how long do you want to live the same way? You always want to live the same way. You know what I mean? You have to like no. evolve and like try out new ways. There is ways something of about being. like yeah, like, you're um, right. When I moved to New York, I was single, and then now I'm in a relationship for about the same amount of time that I've been here. So it's been a fifty percent single, fifty percent in a relationship. You're fifty percent more fun when you were single. <laughs> <laughs> But you're a hundred percent never been fun. <laughs> we talk about math. Um, but I feel like it's like it's a different New York. Like it's a different life because it's I'm not out in the streets all, all the time. I'm not you know, and that's good and bad. You know, but, I don't know. Like there's but there's something about commitment buddy, I, that changes perspective. I, s- I was with you last week and we both were very very drunk, 
and I was hungover for three days, and I oh, thanked my lucky right. stars that I wasn't doing that every night. Oh, yeah. yeah. Truly, exactly. I was like, I can't. But also, you've been there and done that. I've been right? there, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Done that. So, I don't you, know. Are you I afraid fine. of marriage now? I think like, I was is there any... last week. Good to know. How, old, how long ago? You know, I mean, this is a long time ago you were married, I imagine? This or... was 2014. So, what okay, is that? so eight, eight years, years ago? Eight years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> crazy. Wow. Yeah. Um, do you think you'll ever get married again? Uh, yeah. That's such a guy answer. I love it. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, normally, I, I feel like maybe that's just ignorance, but I feel like women we'll be like, oh, yeah, totally. But like a guy like, well, yeah, well, let's see. What, you ask me right now? <laughs> yeah. Ah, you know, I don't, I'm don't. i fully committed, love it, having a great time. And I'm like, I if she like never wanted to get married, I'd be happy be with the way with things that? are now. Yeah. yeah, I feel like a lot of times I'm like, do I... Because I think about it, I'm like, oh, that's cool. I want to get married. And then I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want to. Sometimes I feel like I just want to like like, pr like play the thing. Like it's like an right. acting gig. I'm like, oh, yeah, I want to play a bride. Play you know what yeah. I mean? Like I want to do that. You know what's funny? Like, you, you can't be like 55 years old being like my boyfriend, my girlfriend. It's kind of weird. Well, you start saying partner. Yeah, I mean, that's even weirder. <laughs> that's, that's even weirder if I have to go my partner's here. Why did you, you say, say in that like accent? That, my partner, <laughs> you know what it means. And your, your eyes bold. Like my Aunt Josie's still not married. She's almost 80 years old. But and you can say that. You can call someone your husband or your wife even if you're not married. Who well, says I think Larry says no. What does Aunt, what does Aunt Josie call Larry? Larry. What? She goes, this is Larry, Larry, my Larry? It's like Larry now. <laughs> my Larry. It's just, it's just known as Larry. When, she, when it's boyfriend. not around the boyfriend. Uh, okay. Wow, that's that is weird. At eight yeah, years yeah, old, at eight years my old, boyfriend. And never who married cares? though. Weird. Who cares? No, who? she, she was married. Was it weird? She no, was married. Her husband died, and then she. And then she oh, okay. She oh, I didn't know that. Couple, though. And uh, so it's always like I don't know. If you're like just always going through that, always like being like this is my boyfriend. Like oh, 55, I, 60. I honestly thought she was never married, and and that was her boyfriend. No, oh. she was married to Harry. Oh. <laughs> Shut up. Harry and Larry. I swear to God. Oh no. He died at a slot machine. <laughs> <laughs> at a slot machine? At a slot machine, yeah, in, in AC. Oh, oh fuck. Geez. What a way to go. Wow. <laughs> Not even at roulette. Get her table. in the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> stories about that one. <laughs> so do you stay in touch with this ex at all? I do. I stay in touch what? with him. Just to clarify, That's yeah, we're good from... friends. What? What? The... We're good friends. We're together for 12 years. That's a long ass time from like a is, very young age. Is he in a oh, relationship? That's crazy. He, um, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't think so. So you're not that close. Yeah, you're not. No, we're you? close, but he, he like, he's kind of a philanderer now. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Um, and he's back. He lives in Greece. He's, oh, he was okay. Greek. Whoa. There's the Greek connection. There's the Greek, right. yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's the Greek connection. So, so out why. psychology today, we did a little research okay. on this. So it, they have a, um, <laughs> I love well, it. no, there's a lot of parts to this I think we can break down. They have eight. It's funny because I'm getting nervous talking about Yeah. That. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, I like yeah, that. Yeah. Let's, yeah, let's break this open. <laughs> this is about being vulnerable. Let's mm -hmm. figure it out. Um, so they have eight different kind of versions of why people are scared of commitment. Okay. And the number one thing is, and this is, this is kind of like a. <laughs> I mean, we hear you. Moving <laughs> us hush of the day. We hear you sigh, Sam, dude. Sam just sighed at the idea. He's always going to commit to all eight. <laughs> He's panicking over here um, in the corner. So the number one thing, and this is like a, from a man's side, but I okay. wonder I wonder if these are similar for, for a woman. Um, first, number one thing is fear of rejection. Okay. That's why guys are going to commit. In the sense that a guy would be afraid that a woman suddenly loses interest and abandons them. So, like, if oh. I commit and then you decide later, no... Then I I put myself out there, and, I, and then I'm rejected okay. after they find out who I am. But I oh, okay. I said this earlier before the podcast, getting rejected, going out at a bar or something like that, never affects guys. I got rejected. What are you talking about? When you're a kid, you get rejected all the time, and you shrug it off, and you, you go to the, with women. Yeah, when you're at a bar, you're at a club, yeah, you go yeah, and you try to dance not... to someone, try to talk to someone, and the girl's like, get the hell away from but me. But that's not commitment. And... We're talking about commitment. No, but I'm saying that's... <laughs> He's like, I... I was in a relationship <laughs> with that girl. No. You go to the bar, like you're, like, you're like, hey, touch, you want to get married? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying once you get rejected, what, rejection in that in that avenue is not bad at all, but once you're in a relationship, then rejection is the worst thing possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, anyways, go, go to number two. <laughs> Fuck well, sense. no. Does that a th like do women have that same fear? A fear of being rejected, like in a relationship? Yes, I'm, yes yeah. definitely. I mean, I think <laughs> that's why a lot of women want men to say that they want to get married or to move in with them because 
they want like signs of you know oh. so yeah. women greater than sign commitment more than guys they're more you they're, guys with the math in this yeah yeah it's a big math, math cash math Shut up, buddy <laughs> i'm a big math guy play the pythagorean theorem graph on the board um women, okay women are i think more afraid of of, of getting rejected i think that also yeah, is biological so though yeah turn, i think so too. turn to go down from sex she doesn't know what to do yeah this is true a hundred percent that's a big big gut punch yeah turn well it happens so turn a girl yeah. down for sex if you say no yeah. you don't want sex you think you're ugly you, your ass the, the girl flabby. literally has no idea but when a guy gets turned down it's like oh whatever that's yeah. what i'm saying yeah that was a move turn back in the single I, days turn, saying no to a woman it's like always turn that's girls. that's like guaranteed sex. you always turn girls down when i'm in a relationship i turn girls down yeah what that's yeah. well you're insane what? as like a strategy yeah yeah, yeah this guy's playing this guy's in a really yeah yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I'm playing the don't. long game here. I don't You're, believe you. I, what? What are you trying to win though? Mental game. <laughs> of what? <laughs> but so in a relationship, psycho. you'll you'll. But your girlfriend would be very sad if you turn. She's gonna her hear down. this and know my strategy. She's not good. <laughs> 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 no, I've never done that in a relationship. If anything, I think it's the opposite. And I then think, what? Well, yeah, that's why you're getting turned. Instead? You're getting turned down constantly. Yeah. And if you turn her down, she'll get upset to that, and then she'll want to have sex with you more. Interesting. Interesting. Mm. Yeah. But she wanted to have sex with you. <laughs> I don't know. But she wanted to have sex with you then. Yeah, but you so turn what it do you down. mean more? She turn it down for future. Because if if you get one time now, you'll get times by five in the future. This is not. This is not <laughs> this a. Is so this is weird. not a stat that makes any sense no. and is not. But do you then jerk off? What do you do? Because you are doing it for yes, strategy, not to, well, because. Well, I live by myself, so it's not like I'm with my girlfriend. But like, okay. uh, yeah, I would turn. I turn girls down in a relationship, and it makes people want. They makes them want me more. Oh, okay. Can I just say that women hate games? <laughs> do you really? Then why yeah. do you play so many? <laughs> I don't know. I don't play games. Why are you the dungeon master of games? <laughs> I, I was never a game playing person. I feel so like I can't answer guys that question. play games. Girls play games. Sure. Both people play games. Some guys don't. Some girls don't. That's life. That's how it is. Okay, sure. But yeah. I feel like men sometimes think that they have to do this. Like they have to not reply for three days. For sure. Or they end most women just love Three day a quick rule. reply. That was a thing. That was yeah. a thing back in the day. You yeah. couldn't text someone in 72 hours or they would right. think you're a full but on But that's like loser. a men, men made that up. But like I think though that male I've people. had women say, I found out that they're like, you replied too quickly. That's desperation. I'm good. Who said that? Women. Really? Women. Yes. Are they still women now? Uh, or did you know, they transition? <laughs> I don't know. I don't have an answer. That's... All right. Go to number three, Chachi. Number two. <laughs> no, I thought it was three. That was two. three. It's three. Okay. That was, we've done fear of rejection. I'm looking at the list right now. What's two? Two is fear of being controlled and smothered. Oh, smothered. A one. Yeah. Ooh, this is a good one. So, so according to them, real quick, uh, the strong mothering pressure that most men experience See? growing That's up. That's what I was going to say. Fear of being controlled is also a common pattern. Men value their independence and freedom even more greatly than women. Wait, did I write you this? That every man should reflect on their relationship with their mother? You did, but this I is also part this. of psychology today, so congratulations, yeah. you're a Thank psychiatrist. You. Hello. Hello. Congratulations Hello. there, Dr. Crane. Hello. <laughs> Facial reference. <laughs> um, My relationship with mother is beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a beautiful it's relationship. It's not weird at all. Folding that's your underwear right now? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> But that's the uh, thing. I, I personally don't necessarily believe in that because my mom was always the person that was like, "Go, go, be free. Go do whatever. Do do whatever." My dad more had the pressure. I think we gotta get married and have kids now. Like he was, he was always more of the smothering of like that type of thing. But that's not what that is about. Oh, what is it? About? That's not what, what your relationship with your mother isn't isn't about whether she was she smothered you or not. But what I think every man has to reflect on when they're in a relationship <laughs> is. Their relationship to their mother in respects to how they treat their girlfriend and oh. if they subconsciously are making their girlfriend into their mother. Ew. You know what I mean? Relax. How do you feel about that? I'm fine with it. I have a very good relationship with both my girlfriend and my mother. Do you see similar similar patterns? Not in... even close. <laughs> really? Yeah. No. Okay. Well, his mom loves him. Yeah, girlfriend. <laughs> 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 Uh, yeah, okay, that's interesting. Well, that, isn't that kind of more boiled down to like you're trying to, women are trying to marry their dad, a guy like their dad, a guy wants to date, marry a girl like his mom? Or once, um, I think for a lot of men, once they love a woman because the only woman that they have know is their mother. Yeah. 
in that way is their mother. So then they start making their partner <laughs> into their mother. Why do you, oh, why does God. psychology always have to make it so weird? Why? Why do we well, have to do like that? It's truthful. Because yeah, it's is it, it? it yeah. breaks it down to its core. Dude, my, I don't my, know. My buddy's, getting, my buddy's getting married and he's a cop. And the girl that he's, he's going to get married to, her father is a cop. And I'm like, she is literally marrying her father. But also she could be comfortable. Yeah, uh, yes. That's exactly who she's and marrying. It could be that she's comfortable around that type of people. And Also, like, who wants to marry a cop other <laughs> that than a type cop? Of people. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't want to marry a cop. But if I was a cop, I'd want to marry a cop because they're cops. She's not a cop. She's a teacher. But who's the cop? My buddy. And then who's <laughs> the father of the bride? <laughs> yeah. Well, he's a cop. It's cop adjacent. It's it's but like it's cop adjacent. It's you're marrying. She's mar literally marrying her father. It's basically she knows that her, she knows that her whole life she's doing that. I still think we're not. So you think your girlfriend is nothing like your mother at all? Not even close. You think your girlfriend's nothing like your mother at all? I think she's very much like my mother, mm. but she's not like. She doesn't do the things that she's personality trait wise mm -hmm. similar, but they're not the same. Like they're polar opposites as far as like. My mom was like a traditional mother, like mm -hmm. in a sense. She, I mean, she worked two two jobs at certain points, but she was cooking meals, laundry, folding, kids here, this, that, and the other. I got none of that. Mm. No, none of that vibe coming from my girlfriend. Um, I mean, she'll be a great mother, but I mean, like, she's not. I mean, save yourself on that one. <laughs> sure she will, but she's not a homebody. She can't cook. She can't cook. She doesn't. Yeah. Know. Hey. Mike, Mike, you're doesn't... Oh, I'll tell you about Mike, you, right now. You're gonna, you're gonna edit this podcast even more, Mike. Come on. Yeah, she knows. Um, yeah. Do you feel the same way? Do you feel like you're... Keep your questions at that side <laughs> of the table. No, not at all. I don't think at all. No, my girlfriend and my mom are pretty different. They both have blonde hair. And you shut the fuck up over there <laughs> and keep the levels even. <laughs> Why? What do you think, fuckface? Well, I've met both of them. And how are they the same? I don't know. They're both Italian and shit, man. It's not that... <laughs> I mean, listen, Olivia's a lot, uh... Be careful, that's management. Take, take shit up, talk shit about my mom. No, Sorry, I'm not going to do that. Uh, no, I, I just see the similarities, man. Okay, cool. Glad we... Oh, uh, ruined that. Put, uh, the, <laughs> put the mic there for that. <laughs> um, same person. No, no, I don't know. I don't... I, 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 I mean, they're both nice. They're both sweet people. No, but oh. I'm not talking about like that they're the same people. You know what I mean? I think, I think it creeps me out. To think about it? Yeah. So I just, in my head, mm -hmm. am separating it. If, I, if, if I'm looking at, looking at it from, a, from an outsider, it's probably easier for well, me. Well, can I ask you a question? To, yeah. How is Olivia's dad? Is your, is your, did that remind uh, your, her dad of you? I've never asked that because I'm not fucking insane. <laughs> it's just asking a question. How is that insane? Yeah. Do you remind... Do you... Do you, do you do Are I, you similar to Olivia's dad? Well, hold on. Here's, no. a, here's, a, here's a better way of asking it. Has she ever said to you... No. You're act, it's so crazy how much you're acting like my dad right no. now. No. No? No, no, no. Oh, okay. Well, none of my boyfriends have been like my dad at all. But I think like men and their mothers have a special relationship. I think, I think that you know that what is I mean? a little bit more. And I think it's something to reflect on. I'm not saying that every man looks for a, a woman who's like his mother. But I think that if you don't reflect on your relationship with your mother as a man, a lot of times there's a subconscious thing that happens. It is you a try nurturing to make thing. Your that... girlfriend into that. Okay. Let's go to three. Number three, and, yeah, fear of not being enough. lovable. <laughs> fear of not being lo lovable. Lovable? Nah, I don't think all, any of us have that Because issue. if not oh, being that's prized and validated growing up, is, if a man is not prized or validated growing up, they have an unconscious fear that he is simply not lovable. He feels insecure and right. not good enough. That's like a fear of intimacy. Yeah, I think that, that, that could be a part of that as well. I'll yeah. say this. I was so loved, I made myself think I wasn't loved. Wow. You're the Houdini of love. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, uh, yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> and that's why all of his relationships, that... poof, he was gone. Yeah. <laughs> and he always ended up in a straitjacket yeah. at some point. Help me, help yeah. me. No, I want well, the rest of it says, does that make sense, though? Like, no. I, I made myself think that, like, my parents, like, you're, you're a good kid, you're smart, they love me so much, they provided a nice home for me. I was like, in my head, I was like, I don't deserve this. They're just doing this because they're nice. No one else, I shouldn't deserve this. Oh, like, they're only doing this because they're my parents? Yes. And. They're being so gracious about it is because 
I don't. Maybe to you. I won't make get sense. this ever. Yeah. In my, wow. Yeah. 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 No. Well, yeah. That seems like some. Wow. Some, that Catholic some heavy stuff. stuff. Yeah. yeah. Catholic what, have stuff. Have you? Yeah. This right. is this Catholic stuff. That. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm yeah, Catholic, yeah. but not talked, that Catholic. I don't do that. We've talked about that. That's in Catholic. <laughs> That's some altar That's boy Catholic. shit right there. Were you an altar boy? I was. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. There it is. That's hard though. That yeah. stuff is, that's not easy to grow up with. That's why I'm just opening up to you guys and making fun of me. No, 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 that's fine. This is actually, that. you're Call right. me Houdini again. <laughs> this is actually perfect because the rest of this says, in the beginning, you try and work overtime to uh, make them happy. And then his feelings depend on what you think and feel. If you're sad, disappointed, or afraid, he's usually upset and takes it a measure and fundamental lack of worth. That's exactly what you just said. Yeah, that's true. Mm. Yeah. Holy fuck. Wow. Yeah. Hey, psychology to Scopo, huh? <laughs> yeah. um, next one. <laughs> All right, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, what's this, five? Do you have any, you're talking about math. I'm four. I'm just letting everybody let, let, know. Let, let, let him do the numbers. Because <laughs> I'm looking at it. Oh, so it's four, okay. Not measuring up, fear of not measuring up. While the mm, fear of not yes. measuring up is closely related to fear of not being lovable. Ding, ding, ding. It has its roots <laughs> in men's biology and in our culture. Men are biolog bi biologically wired to perform and produce. Mm -hmm. Plus they have been taught by materialistic culture that a measure of man's worth is how successful it is in terms of power and money. Mm -hmm. So this one, I can relate to because when I yeah. fuck you, so me too, when, no, me too. <laughs> oh, okay. So when I first of all was getting moving in with her, I was scared of everything. Just like I'm not going to be able to, you know, cook well enough for her and do anything, clean everything. And then now it's to the point where like I need to. No, you could laugh. No, at Sam, my Sam is oh, yeah. chewing on a thing. It's so loud over there. <laughs> I think people down the hall can hear hear it. Anyways, um, yeah, no. Now it's an. I've moved on to another thing of not measuring up. First, there's steps. First, it was it was going to be a problem. I wasn't going to be good enough when we lived together. Now it's like, well, my I, you know my career isn't good enough. Which mm. is uh, spit it out. No, okay. Um, and stuff like that. And now there's always like an excuse that I'm not going to you know, measure up. I don't know what the next one's going to be. But that's also like a comfort zone, right? Like it's your comfort zone to always feel inferior. Yes. Yeah. I would say, yeah. Fear of success almost. That Fear of being too, successful probably, in the yeah. relationship because you're so used to not being, Yeah. you find comfort in that. Yeah, Possibly, exactly. yeah. yeah. It's annoyingly accurate. I like crushing relationships. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, you know? yeah it's level. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> but also, like, my girlfriend makes, in, in more money than you yeah leaps and bounds more money than i do um and that's the cultural biological thing where man has to provide man has to do this and so it's tough the commitment there's a fear there because i'm not going to be the provider i'm not going to be the money maker in the traditional sense in the non-traditional sense i will be the broke one in the relationship well I this, this is a tough uh time for <laughs> i'm being dramatic here, here. here we go no it's <laughs> Uh, no, no, no. Say every it. every <laughs> man before me in my life has been the person who's been more financially successful. Absolutely. And now it stops at me, and that fucking stinks. And it stops at what you're doing pretty... It stops at this podcast. It does. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. All of us are doing significantly less... Yeah. It's like House of Dragons. I don't have a male heir. Yeah, well, it's, you know, no, I mean, I'm not, I don't feel sorry for myself, but I'm saying, like, it's sort of, you know, this is a more so than ever now than. How does that work in your life? Because do you, do you feel that? Is there a power dynamic in your life? I mean. And you don't have to talk about it. I know that's a real put you on the spot. No, that's fine. I think that, um, uh, you know. Yeah, I think there's a power dynamic. It's not a problem for me. <laughs> no, no, I don't. You're on top of the power. <laughs> yeah, you are yeah, the yeah. power. Yeah. I you mean, got it's the not power. like I pay all the bills. You know no, what I mean? We yeah. we split all the bills and stuff like that, and that's yeah, I mean, yeah, fine. Yeah, same. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, for me, it's also not a problem because I didn't grow up like that. Like with like my parents just like the traditional. Care, yeah, yeah, care about money. Everybody just threw money out the window if it came in and stuff like that. <laughs> and so like, it's like a party. Yeah, and so like I have to learn to like care about that stuff. I don't. I'm like, oh, you don't have money. Who fucking cares? Take all my money. I don't like literally. I don't care. I'm like, take yeah. my money. Just take it. You know. Cool. And um, <laughs> and so for me, it's not a problem. But I have thought about. That you know that it that that might have been also a problem for him moving in together, you know, just having that be a permanent 
fixture in his life. You know what I mean? Thinking about that. I think there's also like um, a part like because throughout the history, men make more than women. Men are the providers, and women <laughs> have had to battle that. Like I'm not just a housewife. I'm not just not the stay at home thing. And then now that that sh- power is shifting a little bit. It's tough to be like the the dickhead in the relationship as a woman. So like I feel like in five generations maybe women will be like you fucking putz. But I you feel stink. Like... You don't work. Get out of here. Get off your lazy ass. But you, it's been so it's been so long the opposite that maybe it's it's more chill now. You know what I mean? I don't know. I maybe, but I think also at like in what we do, it, it ebbs helps. and flows. You know what I mean? You yeah, can't know. Down, yeah, yeah that exactly. So the like blow. that's the dynamic right now for us a little bit. It's not like, you know, like I said, I don't pay all the bills and who knows, maybe he'll make more than me, you know, somewhere down the line. <laughs> I think that a lot of what I see with a lot of my female friends, they have all of them have, partners or boyfriends or husbands even that make less money than than them now not in the world of entertainment in regular other outside and inside entertainment okay. yeah and which just out of curiosity which is there one that stands out more like it's more specifically worse if it's outside of entertainment no definitely inside entertainment it feels worse yeah I feel like that cushions the blow, to be perfectly honest with you. That, in entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what I feel like is a little bit sad is that, like, um, it's almost like m- women still have to, are still expected to take on everything that they were traditionally expected to take on. And also the money. And also the money. And now it's like almost, and I'm not saying that's you guys at all, but I almost feel like, no, no. I almost feel like some men see that like as their way of being feminist. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, I'm a feminist. I let my my fucking girlfriend make all the money and pay all the bills. Do you know what I mean? Like that's their brand of feminism. It's a fun feminist. I was like the idea of let them make the money. It's like, yeah, it's my choice to not make this money. It's not because I have no skills. I know so many women that are with men that make less money than them, that aren't doing shit, that like aren't getting off their ass. That's the thing, though. If you if you're with somebody that is get, uh, lazy and not doing anything, but if you're with somebody that's a hard worker yeah, that's and different. striving to do something, it's a totally different dynamic than just the lazy guy. This that's is your way true. of calling yourself not a bum. <laughs> no, that's very true. No, I'm just saying it. But facts. also, that goes for <laughs> commitment too, because sometimes I like think you know, if this was like 1950, guys. Men couldn't fucking like twiddle their thumbs for years and be like, I don't know if I want to get married or not, uh, you know, because it's like you can't fuck around like be that. Be dead at thirty-eight from lung cancer. That too. Yeah, well, you if you're gotta... twenty-eight, and not married in the fifties, you're gay. <laughs> No, that's you weren't. You're were just a, unique. That's a thing. Like, no, like people would be like, that guy down the block's a little bit, uh, a little bit weirdo. Like, he's not married. Uh, yeah, I mean, and women, the, the spinster, they're the the old maid. Like, oh, if tw- you're twenty-five. It's over for you. Yeah. Now it's a little more accepted. Even though I think it's more coastal city wise people. Like if even like my yeah, friends that's are true. my friends are all who I play baseball, they all like live in the lounge. They're all they all got married in their late twenties, early thirties. Yeah, because they're more conservative. They're more like, yeah, yeah. Where I'm yeah, like the yeah, weirdo yeah. that's like not yeah, married. Right. And but I think that's in the fifties that's how it was all across the country. Now it's a little more it's a little different with that way. Yeah. Well now the internet, you know? Yeah. People know that there's other options out there for yeah. I guess so. What do we got here now? Uh, fear of being found out. A man gets, as a man oh, gets okay. closer to a woman, he feared that he would become exposed because he has to reveal fears or feelings right. that are unmanly or a shameful family secret. Oh. It, it's especially true if they had a difficult or demanding parents that shamed him when he cried or acted like a wuss. Similar is, fear. Is that, it says it? It says wuss It there? says wuss in uh, the I don't, I don't know what about that. Similar fear of commitment can also develop when a man is ashamed of his history or family. They maybe, harbor secrets maybe. about relatives, mental illness, So that's being also poor. fear of intimacy, right? It's, yeah, it looks no? like it's all kind of related in that sense. But yeah, like you're going to know that. who I am. Like once I commit, yeah. you're going to know everything about me. And like right. I don't know if I'm... Confident yeah. in that. That's right. why I tell women the first date, I'm a Mets fan. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like that's pretty standard, though. But wh- whether you think it or not, uh, you're gonna know my parents are batshit crazy the, the first the first time you ever meet them. It stuff. might be different with comics because we talk about it all yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah, so that's why like, that one yeah. really doesn't. Yeah, doesn't I don't really think it necessarily yeah, yeah. super applies. But once once Becca <laughs> finds out about my IRS uh, you know, standing, she's gonna really have a problem. You know what I've had? To, I've had to tell people on first dates. About like it's weird, but the side of the family that was connected. 
Oh, if they Google because you, because they'll Google me, and they will pop, that they will pop up. Yeah, and but I've had people like before that. I had I've a couple of girls be like, "Hey, this is your uncle, or this is your grandpa, or something like that." Like, say that, send that to me like after the date, and that was what I was, I was like, I just got to tell people right away. So it's wait, not, so not what is deal. what's up with your grandpa? I, I do you think the connected side is on dates going? I got a cousin who's a comedian, so don't Google that guy. <laughs> <laughs> His family's connected. <laughs> One of his uh, side of his, his uncle cousins are all like yeah. mobbed up. If you Google oh, them, okay, they're okay. like. But his is the legitimate, Google. the legitimate garbage side, because they're in garbage. And then okay. he's, yeah, and then that's... there's the other side, yeah. the other yeah, scopal yeah, yeah. side, who's the connected side. Yeah, yeah. So, but but, if, I but hey, he's connected. If you need some compost bins, <laughs> yeah. talk to your boy Chris here. Yeah, if, if the Overwatch crew needs a little support, let me know. <laughs> um, you gonna block a street off for you to cross when you get into the next. No, I've had to like, I've had to like say that. Just like, oh, hey, I've, I've had a couple times girls like. DM me. It messaged me after the date, being like, "This is this. Who who are you?" <laughs> like, like that. Nice. So, so I'm like, I'm just opening up front with it. I'm not in the mob. Mm. Yeah. Cool. There's Allegedly. Some, there's some guy who I forget his name. He has like a theory uh, where he says on a first date, people always tell each other what's like great about them, right? Like they tell each other like, oh, what they like and what, what, what like. About themselves. Yeah, about themselves. Okay. But that you should really tell people what's wrong with you. Like all the things that are wrong with you when you first meet them. So that's what you're doing. There the you day go. would never end. That's, yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> what do you want in about three minutes? <laughs> Check please. Uh, yeah. uh, I'm like, another 43 port A, section B, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> you look up, where'd you go? I guess I'll keep going if anyone's listening. <laughs> uh, fear of trusting a woman is the, is the sixth one. If a man has erratic or manipulative mother and a history of being cheated See? on, that's a mother again. History of being cheated on. That's maybe why he's a philanderer now. No, no, no. <laughs> um, I should have clarified that it wasn't only. It wasn't just my fault. I, I you was know, that doesn't your balls. just happen. Like, no, of course. It sounds not. like what a cheater would say. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah, that's what a guy. That's that's a guy's line. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's your fault too that no, I fucked a, around on your sister. That's what. It, that's what a girl's line is. Just, you pushed me to this way. You pushed <laughs> yeah. me this way. Did he? Yeah, you're yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> he did. <laughs> um, no, uh, fear of being cheated or having that's everybody's fear. That's everybody's yeah, fear. Yeah, but that's a, fear yeah. Of, that's a real fear of commitment. That yeah. you might, if, if you've been cheated on, you might be yeah. scared Even that it's going to happen. I, in the had, um, on. I had a horrible thing happen to me where I found out a guy I was with um, was also fucking. Um, sorry, I have to say it the PC way transgender sex workers, right. aka tranny hookers. That's um, not the PC way. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, that's, the, oh, that's, 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 that's the Queen's the way. way. That's what that is. <laughs> that's Aunt, Prince Andrew's I've heard a couple way. uncles say that term. <laughs> you have to figure that out if you're listening because that's going to sound beep, beep. <laughs> okay. Um, And that really fucked me up. And that was before Tom. Okay. They were, wait, you were cheated on or you found that that was a history? No. That hit. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And that really, 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 really fucked me up. So that's definitely. Well, you were real. working with parts that you didn't have. That's true. So I mean, yeah, it's not your fault. It's not fair. It's not your fault. Yeah. You're like I'm not a man, but I'm working on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but but yeah, fear of being cheated like on that. is a Wait, huge reason to not. Was that out. a thing you got to talk about? You broke that up with that person. Did you be like, why not just regular women? Um, I mean, I was like so in fucking shock and he was a mess. So no, there was no talking about oh, okay. it. Okay. You just broke up and you're you're done with it. well yeah. That yeah. makes Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta sense. be done with that. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. You uh, don't even need yeah. to get and maybe into not that a... specific fear, but like that that's a big that's a huge blow to anybody. But that but like, ego confidence. break of trust. Yeah. You know, like really trusting somebody. I have one more question about this. Yeah. <laughs> was he receiving or giving? Did you get into it? No, I think he was. I don't know. I didn't get into it. You're right. I, maybe both. Do you want us to text? We can do it right now. <laughs> we got Bluetooth. We can call. Do it. Let's yeah. do it. Let's call him right now. Well, no, that's a th Yeah, I mean, I would say too, like for, I, I had like emotionally broken up with people in the past and then like moved on to other people without officially breaking it off. Then they find out and then that becomes an issue. So I'm sure that like 
but being Both, lied to right right being you know, lied to is a tough that's tough that's yeah, tough yeah, yeah. like finding out you've been lied to for like a an extended period of time that really fucks you up and well, then going into the next relationship what did you do did you do anything to like work through that or ha what was the process of like if somebody else out there might be going through that or going through a cheating situation like is there something you found particularly that like helped you get back to the point where you could be in a relationship um i was such a mess and i watched um chopped every day for like two months i watched like 120 episodes of chopped chop something off <laughs> <laughs> Yes, oh, finally wow. someone understands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had those oh knives. I wish that knife was in my hand right now. I go down to the red light district Stop and show her what's up. <laughs> yeah, no, I just was depressed. I don't know. If I, yeah, I worked through it. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah, a time. that's a extreme situation yeah. though, where yeah. it doesn't happen to like many people. You can't and really was, I call your friends here. up and be like, yeah, "This exactly. is what happened." Oh, what happened to me? Yeah, put on season twenty-eight of Chopped. Yeah. Watch him make a Nutella sandwich out of lettuce. <laughs> yeah. That'll get you back on your feet. Yeah, but no. then I thought I was um like a sex and love addict for a while. Was what, what? Which is a whole thing. Yeah. You guys know about was, this? Was is that a hard? show? What are you talking about? She just said Love Island. I didn't know. I didn't hear what she said. No, sex, sex and Love, love Addict. Addict. Oh, oh, yeah. I don't know what that you know, is. Like you're gambling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know what that is. Wait, was it was it hard to tell people no. about the guy with the transsexual person? Was that like a a, a, a thing that was no. like shameful? No, no? At, at first I felt really sorry for him when I when I wasn't like when I hadn't gotten angry yet. I felt bad for him, so I felt like I would I was betraying him by telling people about this like thing, he, this affliction. Mm -hmm. It was an affliction for him, I guess, or it is, because he's living a double life, right? Nobody knows this yeah, about yeah, him. Yeah. Um, and so that I I felt really bad for him because I you know it must be horrible to live your life like that, lying to everybody all the time, nonstop about who you are, right? That's horrible. Yeah, you're you're yeah that's that's a huge and that's a that's turned into your problem, right? As well, like but you then had I to told kinda... everybody. And I did say, yeah. uh, <laughs> cats out of the bag no, now. Everyone. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. Cats yeah. out of the bag. Yeah. He's in the yeah. bags. I mean, I could fuck them <laughs> up. Sorry, cats I could fuck him up because he's like a public person. But I haven't done that. Uh, I'm not gonna do well, that. Well, when these shut off, you're gonna do, we do it right now. So we can get some clicks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> um, seventh thing is fear of growing up. I think this is a pretty standard yes. one for men and women. Yeah, like once you're committed that means that you are it's over the chapter done. The chapter's over. Yeah. that one Life that's a big is over one. put it in a body bag <laughs> and then the last thing is, is uh it stinks fearing that you can't make the right decision uh this type of man has a very hard time making up his mind or trusting his own judgment uh when he picks the movie to see yes. he immediately regrets and wants to choose another one he's not sure the company he wants to keep or stay at a job for a long time cannot make decisions and uh it fucks him up for his whole life basically where he just cannot make decisions so that's just kind of like a general that's bad that's anxiety anxiety but like you can't commit to right? anything so if not just a relationship but like you don't know where to eat you don't know what you want to see you don't you know what to do you just can't commit to anything and i was that's a... why i like being in a relationship because <laughs> you don't have to make decisions yeah, oh, yeah no, let's, ask, think... let's ask her let's see how she likes she constant hates decisions. that <laughs> here's your question like i think Women like it when they men make decisions for like where you're gonna eat or something like that because I, I've had like we're talking to Annie she's like I don't know this I'm, I'm like we're just gonna go here so okay she I think women you're not like talking that about, more like, you're going she'll have the lobster no like, no 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 I'm not, uh, <laughs> it's not 1862 that. okay no 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 like, I'm a vegetarian but I guess I'm having a lobster like, this, she'll do this I will do this or this place she's like, I don't know what I want to eat let's go have Italian let's go mm -hmm. have that do women like that more or it's more like cause sometimes you guys are not great with decision making and um what uh, <laughs> i don't know i mean i you speak for all women go <laughs> uh, i yeah no that's great you know if you know a place to go and you want to go that's great i love it <laughs> that's, that's how to avoid the question 101 <laughs> um uh... but yeah so i, I think it, it's interesting to see both sides though to see like the, the fear of women both matching a lot of the same things that guys have yeah and understanding it too and you know well, and I think that like society like packages like women are needy and stuff like that. And like, you know, there's like these like kind of like terms that are used for women that aren't used for men. It's like, 
you're needy as a woman if you want, you know, the guy to call you every day or if you need the guy to be around or whatever, right? Right. Um, it is socially more acceptable for a woman to be needy than a guy to be needy, though. It but truly needy is. is such a shitty thing term Well, it's not anyway. needy for a guy, though. Needy it, is uh, like a judgment on something. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, needy is not really, like, it's a judgment on something that someone's expressing and I, I don't for me like i don't think needy like what's needy what does that mean do you know what i mean like if you love you somebody need things constantly, I think it depends, it depends constantly on the texting person. them constantly being around them what are you doing let's hang out but That's then you have needy. to unpack why like what is it you're what's annoying. going on let's deal with that all right god no but like what's going on that like she doesn't trust hey, you can i tell you, she, you can know? i tell you who my girlfriend does it or she drives history me doesn't trust exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. I she have drives that me nuts and i'm not needy okay this is something she does that drives me nuts until about it i could say it here okay she needs say it here i love she, that she she needs to like when we're like on the couch or something to put her fingers in like my pocket or waistband of my underwear and it drives me crazy i feel like i'm attached to like a radiator i feel like i i always just want a little movement but she a always radiator. does it and she doesn't you know like chained you know like saw or something like that mm. i feel like I, need going on that house. Wait, I don't know dude you're telling me you feel like your relationship is similar so, to a horror no, movie no no <laughs> not, no just this part Why the futons back up no before just you? this part <laughs> we're moving back in baby she puts her fingers in my waistband and i'm like but that's not just, needy that's some weird it's fucking clingy. kink it's not a kink. No, it's, it's not. Like, I know, I know. know. It's not a kink. She like she wants to behold you. She yeah, wants to touch yeah, you. but it is a bit needy. She wants to touch. She needs yeah. the neediness. If, if you, if See, you, you need, would grab her. No, we're not seeing eye to eye on this neediness stuff because I think it's neediness, but you think it's a kink. That's we're not kinda, needy. Yeah, it is. That's to not touch, a needy thing to though. touch and like she wants to be touching all the time. And That's I'm like a habit. It's like a snuggle thing. Nah, nah. Yeah, no. What are so you saying? So how about you say to her, like, I don't I do. like it if you put it there. Like, I do. Uh, and touch her differently. Look. Offer a solution yeah, for then, the problem. Then she, then she shows him the phone bill and goes, I pay this. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have a phone yeah, bill. Have. He meant gas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we don't have a phone bill. She does. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It, uh, I don't know. Um, anyways, there's some stuff that some neediness. I would say it's a little neediness, a little clingy. Cl yeah. It's like an, an orbiting the clingy, needy uh, closeness thing. Can we, Sammy? <laughs> I know what? you. Hold you, on, Sam Robinoff's question of the day: snuggling, women snuggling. Isn't that a form of neediness? That. Wow. No, I, that's you just broad stroke that. Wow. Women wow. snuggling is a snuggle. 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 How can wow. you not snuggle? Go, Sammy. Don't let them yet. Go, go, go. No, I think I think for them it's a sign it's it's intimacy. For sure. Yes. I think it's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I do it uh, because I, I I love her and I do cuddle and I do love cuddling with her. They got a lot but, of hair. So it's the always in the face. What's difference between and cuddling then? Both, whatever. They're the same. Oh, okay. but, but I don't know. They could be different. No, Snuggling no. We're oh. semantics here for Christ's sakes. Okay, but I'm, I'm just Start saying like. something on a, episode, a podcast where we're trying to Oh my God. <laughs> cuddling and snuggling the same shit. Um, but sometimes it's a little. I just want. So why can't you say that? If you say that, what happens? Nothing, but... So there you go. If he says but that, he runs out of minutes. <laughs> <laughs> no more phone privileges. Hey, why the water not hot? Well, <laughs> Showering in the cold. Uh, I'll say true. with the snuggling, it's, it's, it's good, but this, this, sometimes you got to go away. <laughs> you gotta, you I'm gotta saying. just, just go over this okay, side. Okay, you don't think women don't want to snuggle sometimes? No, and you don't think it. you do shit that annoys her the she same way? I do. Yeah, I like, do. Breathe but it. is she on this podcast? Today is my time to shine. <laughs> Get the thing out of my waistband. Start your own podcast if you want to talk shit about me. Get the fingers out of my pocket. And he's like, and I, you put money in it. I now. do. A, I do a lot of things that bother her. I do a hundred, way more things. What? Than, <laughs> then I'll break your I'll do Krav Maga. No, I do a lot of things that bother her. But I'm just saying, we're, we're you know we're talking about. But stuff. here's the here's the interesting part. We're all committed. We're all in committed relationships right now, which is pretty mm -hmm. you know. So I think we all have a good perspective on the whole thing. And this is interesting. I'm glad we found this. Um, thank mm -hmm. you for bringing up the topic because mm -hmm. this. It's surprising. I feel we like there's a, about way more yet. to unpack in her, and she's not letting it out. <laughs> Why? Well, I let so much out. Had, I told lot, you yeah, so that much. Yeah, was a lot. Yeah, we, we... I think there's more back there. 
<laughs> well, we'll do part two uh, when, yeah. when, we, when we all break up. She's then... German. Have you hung around the Germans? They're very <laughs> stoic. They, 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 you keep to yourself a time. I have one question. Don't you? When, when... I don't know. I'm, I'm also Jewish, so that's kind of the opposite of that. Uh, we, stoic blabbermouth. We, 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 <laughs> yeah, exactly. We, we wish he kept to himself a little more. That's for sure. <laughs> what was your question? Let's do. When, let's when you're when you're arguing with Tom, we all know Tom, and like you're, you're like, does he just play Overwatch? So he has like you listening to him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> to make sure, like you, like you'll do what I want right now. <laughs> <laughs> just, it makes you say the certain things of character. That's so funny. Yeah. Um, that's, that's how we communicate. Lucy, thank you so much for coming on. And this was this thank got this me. got fun and then a little intense and uh it was a, this is a great it episode. did not get intense Mikey. <laughs> <laughs> um immigrant jam is the podcast it's the podcast and a live show if you're in new york city immigrant yes. jam, at immigrant jam nyc podcast okay you do you have two or do, yeah but, but immigrant jam podcast. podcast yeah 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 check it out check uh, out the podcast. weekly episodes overwatch season two the, the second version of the game yeah overwatch out. 2 is coming out mercy ps4 yeah. mercy in the i think building. all of it yeah everywhere nice. all of it, all PS5, of it. Maybe? PS5, PS7. Maybe if PS Olivia has a big year, <laughs> <laughs> we'll get the PS5. <laughs> Lucy Paul, thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. So much fun. We got to have you come back on another one and do another. This was really fun. Yeah, it was really awesome. Right, cool. Thank, thank you. you so thank much. You.